how to use Zendrop with Shopify. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with using Zendrop with Shopify. Now, what exactly is Zendrop and what is Shopify and how can we use them both? Well, Zendrop is an amazing dropshipping platform which allows you to get started with sourcing any product. You can find different manufacturers for the same product and find the best fit for you. And it's easily integratable within Shopify, which means that you can easily automate and streamline all of your dropshipping processes. So let's get started with integrating Zendrop into Shopify. Obviously, for integrating Zendrop, we'll need a Shopify store. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to get started with Zendrop. Now, Zendrop has different price plans. They have a free version which allows you access to products as well as 24 7 support. Then, if you want to actually get started with accepting orders that are from Zendrop, you do have to upgrade. So, on the $79 plan, which is their plus plan, you have $100 in order credits as well as unlimited orders, automatic fulfillment, custom branding, and more. Then on the pro version at $49 a month, you have some premium features like US products, requesting products, custom branding, automated fulfillment, and more. Now let's go on ahead and take a look at our Shopify store and we're going to first build our Zendrop account to integrate. So we're going to click on try for free over here to create our Zendrop account. Usually I like to do this on the same browser as my Shopify store because when I'm connecting Zendrop to Shopify, if I've already created my account and logged on to my account on the same window, it just makes it really quick and easy to integrate them. To create your Zendrop account, you're going to have to fill in your first name, last name, email, and phone number. If you want, you can sign up with with Google, Apple, or Facebook as well for a quick and easy sign up. So we're just going to be signing on like so. Now, once I have signed up using Google, I have to connect to Shopify. So the first thing you can do is directly click on continue to connect to your store that you already have. You can see you have two other options, but we are going to select option number one. However, if you do not have your own Shopify store, you can get started with building one as well. Now you're going to go into Shopify first and you're going to go into settings. Then you're going to scroll down and you're going to see apps and sales channels on the left. So click on apps and sales channels and then open up the Shopify app store. Once you do that, you're going to move on to the app store. And over here, you're going to search for Zendrop and you will see the Zendrop application on the Shopify store. So we're going to click on install over here to install this application in our Shopify store. And this is a mandatory step. Everyone will have to install this. So we, I just like to do it beforehand. This makes integration really quick. So we're going to click on install once more. And once we've done that, we can move forward. And from here, we have, you know, plan based billings. So we're just going to approve this. And once we approve this, you're not going to be charged until you actually upgrade to like a premium plan. So you don't have to worry about that. And just like that, it automatically connects to your Zendra profile. So if I refresh my store over here, it will by default connect to my Shopify store. So now I have my Zendrop account for my Shopify store and you guys can see on the left it shows my store name which is Coco. Now that we have actually integrated Zendrop, it's time to start finding products. So you can go into dashboard where you have a summary of everything and then you can go into find products on the left. They even have print on demand which allows you to create your own products. Now I want to search for something that's cute and easy to sell. Let's say it's these shoes over here. I can click on the shoes to see more information about the product. So this is the description. Then we have the product cost. Then I can see all the different variants and the shipping. Now the shipping time is also going to be estimated, but the estimate is going to be based upon the country you've selected. So for us, it has selected United States, which is fine. The country you should be selecting should be the country where you are trying to get the most orders from. So whatever is your target country, you can add that. Now, I think this might be a good product, but if you want to do a quality check beforehand, so if you want to see if the product is right for you, especially if you're trying to build a brand on Shopify, if you're trying to build a custom brand and you want really high quality products, then I always recommend going for a sample order. You can add your address and complete your information to receive a sample order. Usually the sample order is going to be at a higher price, so you do have to eat up those costs within your business. But if you are satisfied with the product, just click on add to my product. 
once you add a product to your product you can go on ahead and first off edit the way that it's going to appear in your store so instead of it saying fashion rivet flat sandals for women's casual wear i'm going to call this my rivet slides and these are going to be tagged under shoes and these are shoes the category is going to be empty then i have a description so you guys can see usually within the description section they will have images which does not look good this is not a good thing you want to remove these images like this simply select it and then remove you're you're just going to remove all the extra stuff you don't want and elevate your summer style with our rivet slides um, perfect blend of chic blah 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 cowhide upper rubber sole and i'm just going to remove a bunch of the text so i'm going to remove some of like the extensive description because i just don't want it to be so long you can obviously use a ai tool to write a better description for you then you have the variants now i don't want to sell all of the variants so i'm going to unselect all or deselect all of the variants that are black i'm going to scroll down then we have white and we have black white i only want to sell the brown variant within this because maybe that's what i think is going to sell the best on my store like this and then i have my sale price so the suggested price is 78 dollars, which gives me a profit of 53 dollars. and then i have all the images once i am satisfied with how this looks i can click on publish to my store and then i can confirm to get started now the product will show 50,000 units in inventory in your store this is a placeholder since they do not have real-time inventory from the factories when you first start selling the product it might take longer than normal so one to two days to ship this is normal and it shouldn't happen once you start selling regularly got it please don't add and just like that we have added this product to our store now i can go back into my shopify store and if i click on products over here i have this rivet slide added and if i view the product so if i open the product listing up and i view it in my online store it's probably going to be very nice so you guys can see everything has been added properly and it's a really nice listing of a product and just like that you can integrate send drop now what will happen when you receive an order so customers can buy it as they regularly would like so and with this you do need to ensure that you've set up the proper shipping area within Zendrop. So if an international order is placed where Zendrop does not ship to that area, it's going to show up like this where it says that it is not available in our location. And another thing to note is that if you're trying to get custom branding or packaging or labeling, you're going to have to go into the extra section and you're going to have to go ahead and add your own branding. This ensures that your products don't look like typical dropship products. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you found them helpful, make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these. Share them with your friends, with your family, with your cousins, and share them with any business partners that you might have. And if if you find that there is something missing, I will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel. So make sure to tell me if you find anything missing. So that was it for today. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.